Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our cars. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching this video presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. That is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We never take down our YouTube videos between both of our locations, whether they were shot one week ago or five years ago. We leave them up at all times so you guys can check out what kind of quality and quantity of vehicle go through our showroom. However, on our website, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down, dropping into the sold category, letting you know it's no longer available. Instagram, check us out on Instagram. We do have a page. Um, we are posting automotive related material as well as new arrivals to our facility before they actually go on our website. So if you're interested in a car, a specific year, make, model, you might be able to get a sneak peek uh, before they hit our website. We've sold many cars before they even make it to our website. So. 1967 Dodge Coronet is what we are presenting to you today. Uh, this car does have a fender tag. I have not broken down the fender tag yet, so feel free to do so. Um, it will be in the still photos that are on our website. Car does have power brakes, does have power steering. Uh, the air cleaner indicates a 383 four barrel. It is not a 383 four barrel car. It is a 361 motor. The car did start life as a 383 two barrel car. So it is not the original motor in the car. I don't know when the motor was put in. I don't know how many miles were on the motor. I don't know when the motor was rebuilt, uh, but I do know it's not a numbers matching motor for the car. And this car does have, I don't know if some of you guys might be familiar with this, some not, it does have the original CERTA card from uh, Dodge when the car was new. Uh, still got the uh, little factory pocket. That's how they came in 1967, uh, where it belongs. It's a nice car. Um, we are going to describe this car as like a copper color car. I don't know um, the true factory uh, color for it. Um, I believe it is a version of copper. To me, it looks like maybe a, a rose color. It's a real, real um, class classy looking color. Uh, chrome on the front bumper is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Dodge emblem on the uh, front of the hood. Do have a little tiny chip there out of the hood. I'm sure you'll be able to see that in the uh, video presentation here. But check out the uh, hood fitment to the front fenders, uh, both driver's side and passenger side. Really good hood fitment. Um, the front fender on the uh, driver's side, the laser straight. Um, BFG radial tires on all four wheels. Long car. Body lines on the car are fantastic. From the uh, front fender to the driver door to that huge rear quarter. Uh, door gaps on the car. The front door, driver's side to the front fender is uniform. Um, same thing with the uh, rear door. The rear of the door to the quarter, to the rear quarter of course. Interior in the car is absolutely fantastic. Um, all the vinyl is in great condition. Uh, the carpeting in the car, you got your uh, coronet floor mats. Carpeting in the car is in amazing shape. You can see that when you open up the door, not only do your courtesy lights illuminate, but also your uh, dome lights functioning. Dash pad in the car is in nice condition as well. Uh, both captain's chairs, bucket seats in the front are uh, in great shape. You can see uh, the rear seat is in excellent condition as well. You do have uh, rear seat belts, lap belts there. Headliner and sun visors are in great shape. We'll take a look at that when we are inside the car doing a test drive. Driver's side door panel is in nice shape. Be able to see that closer in the still photos. Top of the car, vinyl top, right? Uh, no rust um, underneath the vinyl top at all. Not only on the top, but also on the uh, side posts here, dropping down to the rear quarter from the roof. Rear window glass in the car is in great shape. Coronet 500 there on the uh, passenger side, or, uh, driver's side rear quarter. Do have a little tiny uh, ding there in the uh, molding on the car, in the trim molding. Huge deck lid on the vehicle, 
fits nice. Not only are the gaps good, but also uh, fits nice and flush to that huge rear quarter we were referring to earlier. Um, 500 designation there on the deck lid between the two brake lights. Dodge emblem again on the uh, deck lid in the center. Reverse lights down low there in the uh, rear bumper. And of course the uh, dual chrome tips coming out on your exhaust. Opening the uh, deck lid of the vehicle, you do have a car cover that fits the car that does come with the vehicle. Uh, huge trunk there, so if you want to um, you know, take it to a car show, you have enough room for a cooler and some chairs, blanket, whatever, whatever you're putting in there. You do have a uh, jack, and there is, if you pull up the trunk mat, there is a spare underneath here, okay? And the trunk is nice and solid. You can see there's, you know, it's painted black, so, and there's shadows, of course, from the showroom lights. I don't know how much you can see of that, but not only is the trunk mat in good condition, but the trunk's nice and solid, and you do have a spare tire underneath there, so. Shooting down the passenger side of the car. Again, it's a long car, so a um, lot of body lines there to look at. And of course, the uh, rear quarter to the passenger side door, to the passenger side front fender, body alignment fitment is all real good. Chrome on your drip rails and around your windows. And of course, these real expensive Mopar uh, chrome mirrors that they have on the car not only on the passenger side, but also on the driver's side. So dual, dual matching mirrors on this car. All the chrome's in real, real nice shape. Checking out the passenger side interior door trim panel, armrest, seat, everything's in real nice shape. Get a good look at the center console too, because that is uh, you know, a combination of the rose color, copper color, whatever you want to call it on the outside of the car, um, as well as, of course, the chrome accents from the shifter to the um, center console lid and around the uh, shifter selector there. Real, real nice condition. Again, we will take a closer look at that when we're in the vehicle. Large doors to shut and, um, you know, they both open and close with ease, so that's, that's nice. Um, another little ding there. Looks like somebody, I don't know, Got a little ding on the molding there. But paint on the car, I would say eight and a half out of 10. Um, paint for me is always hard to characterize because, um, you know, I don't know, there's no level other than your one to 10 system to kind of gauge paint. And my version of an eight and a half might not be the same as yours, but the um, paint doesn't have any fish eyes in it, any spider webs, um, any cracking, blistering. Uh, real, real nice paint on the car. Not only is it a classy color, uh, but it's a good looking paint job as well. Uh, the color with the, um, the color of the car with the accent of the vinyl top and of course the uh, excellent interior, really sharp looking car. Um, and it's a Mopar product, so Mopars are in high demand right now, uh, no matter if it's a Cornette or a Roadrunner or a Cuda or a GTX, or they're all highly desirable. Um, Dodge and Plymouth are being sought after for sure, especially nowadays. Uh, they've always been sought after, but now especially, it's getting harder and harder to find a good one, and this is a good one. So um, let's take it out, put it on the rack, throw it in the air, and after that, we'll take it out on the drive and show you guys how it runs out. Underneath our 1967 Dodge Coronet 500, we have uh, disc brakes in the front. Uh, looking at the sides of the uh, oil pan on our 361 here, um, nice and dry. Starter's nice and dry. The side of the block's nice and dry. I know it's hard to see up there because it's hard for me standing here, so I'm sure it's even harder on video. It's a black block, so not really uh, friendly to see leaks of oil. Um, dual pipes coming down off the sides of the exhaust manifolds. Tranny pan's nice and dry. All of the uh, frame rails on the car, cross members look good. Um, I don't know if this undercoating is original from the factory or if somebody put that on there. We did not put that on there. We uh, bought the car this way. 
Typically, um, you know, we get asked a lot, a lot of our undercarriages look really good. And um, we get asked, do you paint your undercarriages? The answer to that question is yes, we do. Um, nobody wants to uh, see photos of uh, surface rust on leaf springs, tobacco brake calipers, uh, surface rust on exhaust. So we generally paint, you know, silver, black. Uh, we did not paint anything on this car. This is how we got it. Um, and we're not, you know, when we do paint, we don't use undercoating here. We just simply paint. So uh, just so you guys know that, a little bit behind the scenes type stuff. Um, Flowmaster mufflers, dual on either side of the uh, drive shaft. Drum brakes in the rear. The rear frame rails on the car look good, both sides, driver's side and passenger side. Taking a look up where the uh, rear end would sit, um, where you obviously have your back seat and then your trunk compartment uh, begins. Nice and uh, solid up there. Huge gas tank to power this baby. These things weren't built for fuel efficiency. Um, you can see the insides of the we can get a nice shot here because the exhaust system's not right up against it. See how clean and crisp that lip is on the uh, drop down there? That means you're talking metal. That's not packed with Bondo or anything. That's what you look for when you're underneath these cars. A nice uh, crimp on the lip there of the uh, rear quarter and the inner fender well. Uh, your dual chrome exhaust tips there coming off your pipes. Good looking car underneath. Uh, bottom of the bumper's real nice chrome. It's not all pitted rust it up cool so um, I encourage you guys to come in person if you're thinking about buying a muscle car or a classic car whether it's from our dealership or anybody else's go check it out in person it's a fun experience um, owning a classic car is fun uh, visiting our showroom we have a 25,000 square foot indoor facility it's air-conditioned obviously because we are in Florida we have a uh, Extreme humidity for most of the year, especially now since we're in summer. Um, you're more than welcome to take this car outside. We'll put it out in sunshine for you. You can pop the hood, look at the uh, motor, pop the trunk, check that out. We'll open the doors, play with the windows. Um, you know, check out the interior, drive it. We'll rack it for you. You can check out the undercarriage just like I'm doing right now. If you've never owned a classic car before, let me tell you that there's going to be maintenance involved. Um, you know, if you park it in your garage or if you have a storage facility or wherever you're keeping it, don't panic if you see a little bit of uh, oil on the ground or a little bit of transmission fluid or, you know, a little bit of antifreeze because a, a clamp may loosen up or a, a hose may dry out or, or what have you. Um, it's normal. Uh, it's normal. Obviously, if you walk out in the garage and you've got a uh, seven inch diameter puddle of oil, then you got an issue. But um, older cars, they just need a little TLC from time to time. Um, you're going to experience leaks. Um, you're going to experience uh, maintenance, minor maintenance throughout the year, especially for those of you up north that might store the car five, six months out of the year and uh, seals, O-rings, gaskets, things like that dry out and, uh, you know, little seepage begins uh, in, in places. So, um, you know, we, we, we stand there, we do these undercarriage presentations for you guys, show you uh, as up close and personal as we can of the motor, of the transmission, you know, of, of the frame rails, inner rocker, everything we can show you. But um, I encourage you to come do it for yourself. We're not going to catch everything. We try to cram as much information as we possibly can into a 15, 20 minute video presentation. But uh, if you came to our showroom, spent an hour, two, three, four, however long you want to spend, um, you'll definitely get the best possible up close and personal uh, view of the car. With that being said, most of our buyers do not come in person. They um, buy sight unseen. 100 photos, these video presentations, um, a number of questions answered through text message, uh, email, phone calls. Uh, we do a pretty good job uh, getting that done uh, through both of our showrooms here in Daytona Beach as well as up in Pennsylvania. So, Financing is available on this particular car. The collector car lenders will do up to a 10 year term, 10% down minimum, and then the remaining balance over the five, seven, 10 year period, whatever you get approved for. Um, the collector car lenders do not charge a prepayment penalty if you pay it off early. Um, so you can buy one of these things and if you need the financing, you know, there's a number of buyers I have that can pay cash for the car, but they choose to finance it for a year or two for whatever reason, you know, that's up to them. Um, use other people's money, right? So it'd be fun to uh, drive one of these cars for a year, two or three and uh, turn back around and sell it for either what you have into it 
maybe even more, or at the very most, you know, take a thousand or two two thousand dollar loss. Uh, not too bad uh, to drive a car for a couple years and enjoy it. You know, a little bit of fun. Let's set this uh, 1967 Dodge Coronet on the ground, take it out on a drive and see how it runs out. Inside our 67 Dodge Coronet, uh, fuel gauge is functioning. We uh, had a quarter of a tank. We put uh, $25 worth of gas in it to make sure it was functioning and it's functioning. Temperature's coming up, we just started the car. 4,951 miles. Um, that is not the actual miles, the title reads exempt. Left turn, it even tells you left, look at that, it's idiot proof. Right turn, alternator, horn, oil pressure, tech is not functioning, radio is not functioning. You can hear static, but no noise. Um, 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 wipers, right? And when you turn them off, they park back like they should. Like I told you in the showroom, the dash is in great shape. Steering wheel's good. Floor mats, carpeting. Center console. It's a good looking car, both inside and out. I've already driven it and it runs fantastic, so let's show you that right now. This is a car you can get in, put the key in the ignition, start it, and away you go. No problems, no issues. Speedometer's reading 40 miles per hour, which is accurate, it's what we're doing. If you let go of the steering wheel, the car steers straight as an arrow. The response in the wheel itself is real nice. It's a big car, and uh, the steering's nice and tight on it. The brakes work good. Oh, real good. This this in the front, drums in the back. Car has good acceleration. Notice how the speedometer is not bouncing all around. The speedometer uh, indicator there is nice and tight. When we get up to the traffic light, the, the motor idles really nice. There's no spitting, sputtering, wanting to stall out, anything like that. This car has excellent brakes on it. There are zero vibrations at all in the car, whether it's a tire vibration, drivetrain vibration. No um, vibrations when you're stopping. Accelerating, no drive shaft vibrations. Tranny shifts nice and smooth. Run it through a couple gears here, give it a, just a little gas. I'm gonna avoid this puddle here. Just rained here. Car shifts really, really nice. Tranny's really strong. Here we're cruising along at 50 miles per hour. Real, real nice car. Steering's nice and tight. 50 miles per hour, no hands on the wheel. Tracking perfectly straight. Fantastic car. When I do these video presentations, there's a lot of cars I get through the showroom. What did I tell people? You know, some of the cars you get, you know, people have put. It had a 350 in it, they put a 396 in it, they put a 454 in it, they changed this, changed that. This car is pretty much unmolested. You know, it's not original, but you can tell that this car's been intact and well cared for its life. So I, I make the statement that this would be a good first classic car for somebody. Um, or if somebody's looking for just, you know, a car to cruise around on Saturdays and Sundays in, go for some ice cream, take it to some car shows, just have a, a good car, this is, this is it. I mean, it's a really nice uh, 67 Dodge Coronet. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hankstress.com is our website. We'll be putting a bunch of photos of this vehicle up today. 
along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, the 67 Coronet includes shipping to you in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. And it also includes a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. The price of the car is negotiable. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off and um, you're going to pay the shipping when the car arrives, whether it's on an open carrier or an enclosed carrier. You can also, you're more than welcome to come pick the car up, bring your own trailer. If you're local to us here in Florida, you can certainly drive the car home. Um, you also, you know, if you have your own shipping company you work with, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And if you don't, we can certainly arrange the uh, shipping for you. Warranty. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. You have a $100 deductible, and then the uh, warranty will kick in on a uh, covered repair, uh, be it internal components of the engine, transmission, and rear end. It's not a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, it is a powertrain warranty. So internal components of the uh, drivetrain. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. We are Hangsters Hot Rods. Our website is hangsters.com and we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.